Clint from 50 Campfires here. So, one thing that you're gonna be doing at pretty much every camping trip is starting a fire, which means you're gonna need kindling. My favorite way to do this is batoning wood. And that is where you use a knife and another log, and I'm gonna show you how to do that in a minute. Uh, you can use a small ax to baton firewood if you want, but I prefer to use a camping knife. You're gonna want a good, rock solid, fixed blade knife. I like it because the, the knife is actually in contact with the wood the entire time, and it's really safe, contrary to what some people will say about batoning. If you have the right knife, very safe to baton wood. So the first thing you should do is uh, pick, decide which piece of wood you want to baton and make kindling out of. You're gonna want a, the, a straight grain piece of wood, as straight as possible. So I have a couple here. Not a good candidate, because we have a big knot in the side here. So we're not gonna use that guy. We have another one here that has a, a big knot on the top here. And so uh, if we were to use that and baton down through that, it's gonna get kind of challenging as we are doing that. Here we go. Look at this guy, also a little bit thin. So absolutely perfect candidate to make some kindling. Nice and straight grain. So what we're gonna need to do is grab uh, another log that we're gonna use to hammer this down through this. So let me do that real quick. This is gonna be my hammer, basically. So here's how this works. And also, Good idea to have a pair of gloves on. Um, I always been a pair of gloves to camp for gathering fire. We're doing all sorts of things. So what we're gonna do is you're gonna pick a spot pretty close to the edge here. And you're gonna hold this uh, perpendicular to your body and put the knife on there. Hold it nice and firm with your left hand. And you're gonna give it a... So we got that set down in there. So you're just gonna be doing, just kind of continue applying pressure down with your left hand. You're kind of pushing down with both hands as you go down through the wood. Now, as you, if you have a sharp knife, which I do, you can, as this is going down, you can actually turn the knife this way or that way and control how big the piece of kindling is, which is really nice. Go a little bit slower when you get down towards the end. There we go, check it out. So, nice thin piece that's gonna work really well once we start building that classic TP fire. You wanna do them as thin as possible and if it shaves off the side, that's fine. I couldn't ask for a better, uh, better piece of wood here to baton kindling with. So. Got another one here. So the key to making all this work really well is to make sure that you put a really sharp edge on everything before you head out to the campsite. Do this at home. Take the time to put an edge on all your camping knife and your ax and all your tools that have the edge on them. And then throughout the weekend, you're just gonna wanna make sure you take the time to touch those up, okay? It makes everything a lot easier to do. Everything goes smoother. It's a lot safer as well. It doesn't take a lot of time to do it, just a minute or two, a couple passes. But it's important to do this because it's important to keep all these things as sharp as possible. And the key to it is making sure everything is as sharp as it can be before you head out to the campsite.